What would you say makes SwiftUI so appealing to learners? So I've been teaching a lot of tools over the past six years. And one of the key things that I'm looking for when teaching is to teach in the least amount of steps possible. And that's kind of like what learnings are looking for. Is they don't want to switch between too many apps, too many uh, windows, too many steps. And uh, SwiftUI really brings that. You know, you only have your code and then you have your preview on the right side. And this is super important because you want to see the, review, the, the results in real time. So whatever you, you change and uh, you want to look at the least amount of code possible, it's very short, it's very expressive, and it's very easy to explain, especially from a UI perspective, hence why you have the UI in the Swift UI. Right, so the, because it is concise, you can say, hey, this one modifier gets you the result you want. I guess so folks can make progress more quickly and, and see the results of their work. Yes. But it seems also that SwiftUI is particularly popular with designers who, you know, they weren't coders beforehand. They were designers doing Illustrator or Photoshop or something else. And they're coming to SwiftUI and thinking, actually, I can do this. So why do you think it's particularly appealing to designers? So the thing about designers is that they're looking for something that is very closely related to, to a layout system. And a lot of designers, they know a little bit of CSS, they know a little bit of HTML, they know a little bit of uh, prototyping tools. And so when they look at a tool like SwiftUI, which is to me feels like CSS reinvented in 2020, um, you know, you're talking about stacks, you're talking about grid, you're talking about uh, animations, states. So all of these things are very commonly related to the prototyping tools that they've been using, the mm. CSS techniques, and uh, you know, it feels very modern. And again, the preview is just beautiful. So for designers, um, you know, especially those who have used like Framer, for example, the, the, the classic version of Framer, or uh, how to change from the beginning state to the end state in prototyping tools, or even now because of how design tools have become so sophisticated, uh, such as Figma, such as Sketch, Framer, uh, you can do so many things nowadays. Like it's only this year uh, that we started seeing this emergence of sophistication in terms of prototyping. You can now uh, prototype states, um, micro interactions inside design tool, although it's definitely not as powerful as uh, Swift UI. So to be able to do that in something that is as simple as a prototyping tool, but also using real code and to be able to collaborate better with uh, engineers, I think that's the ultimate tool that a designer can hope for, uh, which really, really helps their, their work. Absolutely.